In this tutorial, we're going to look at the steps that are required to build a river reach in Infoworks ICM from the component parts of a center line brought in from GIS, some survey cross sections brought in from a CSV file, and some bank lines which we're going to create from the data we have available. The first step is to import the river center line, and to do this, we use the Open Data Import Center up on the network menu. Simply select Import, Open Data Import Center, and then define what it is we are actually going to import, which in this case is our river center line for our river reach. This will form the line that defines the middle of the channel within our river. As I said, in this particular case, it's data which has come out from an ArcView GIS file, so we have a shapefile containing that information. All we need to do is to define some default values for the upstream and downstream nodes that are already existing in the data set. And once we've done that, we can simply press OK to bring in the center line. And as you can see, the information message confirms that we have imported one new object, which is indeed our river center line. Closing the dialog will reveal that the center line is now visible running down the river, as we can see here on the screen. Now, at the moment, that is just a center line that's indicating where the center of the river is. There's no other data at the moment for cross sections or bank lines. Let's clear away the LiDAR data that we can see just to give us a clearer view of the model. So there is just our basic center line of our river. To bring in the cross sections to give us the definition of the river channel itself, we need to import that data as well. And in this case, we're going to bring in some data that has been collected in a standard river survey, and we're going to use that data to update the information we have and add in additional data, in this case, the river center lines themselves. And in this example, we're going to use a different file type. We're going to use some cross-section data that exists in a Microsoft Excel CSV file. The CSV import may well need additional data, so the dialog has come back prompting for extra data if we, if we need to load it. In this case we don't, so we can close the dialog and InfoWorks ICM will confirm that the process has imported 70 new objects, which are the 70 cross sections that make up this particular reach. And on the screen here we can see each one of those cross sections in their own right, shown in the blue colour. We can use the information tool from the, the toolbar at the top of the screen to look at the details associated with any one of these particular cross sections. So if we pick one at random from the screen here, the information will show up on the screen on this side, on the left hand side, that this is uh, cross section number 382. And if we press the preview button, we can see that that is the section details for that particular point in the river. Now at the moment, those are just section lines. They don't yet form part of the actual river reach. But InfoWorks ICM has a very clever tool that will automatically go along the length of the river reach and snap in all of that data that we can currently see existing in independent cross sections. So we use the model river reach and then build up the actual river sections from the survey lines that we've imported. And as quickly as that, we now have both the center line and the individual sections that make up this particular reach. And we can again check that that has happened correctly by using the information tool, clicking on our river reach out of all the data available. And indeed, the software confirms that we now have some reach section data available throughout the whole model. And here it is. And we can see every single one of those 70 sections is now has now been imported connected with the river center line and has formed the basis of our reach from the top to the bottom. The final part of the puzzle for any river model is to have bank lines. These will obviously define when the river goes into a spill situation. Now we don't have any bank data available, but we can use one of the tools in InfoWorks ICM to create a bank line based on the endpoints of each one of those 70 cross sections. And that's a very simple process, again from the InfoWorks model menu, river reach, and then the software has been asked to create bank lines from the ends of the sections. The software has the option to follow the shape of the link, which is what we do want to do in this particular case. And you'll now see, shown in yellow on the screen, that down the perimeter of the river on either side is a yellow line representing the bank along that length. 
What we now need to do, having generated our bank lines, is to check the data available within them. And we can use the information tool, click on our yellow bank line, defines that this is the bank on the right hand side of the model, and the preview will again show us the change in elevation as we travel down the river. Final step is to incorporate those bank lines as part of our single river reach. So select all of the items of data, bank lines, cross sections and river center line, and use the model and river reach menu item, in this case, to build the actual banks, the actual river reach banks from the selected bank lines that we have just created. And that is the final step of the puzzle. We now have everything we need within our one river model, bank lines, center line, river cross sections, everything complete. The information tool will confirm that if we click onto that, we have everything we need for our bank data in terms of X, Y, and Z. But the final part that we need to put in is some modeling coefficients for the discharge coefficient and the modular limit, because that data was obviously not available in the source. There's a very quick way to do this, and that is to use the InfoWorks SQL function. And we have a function that we've already created, so we can show you this. And you can see that this SQL function is going to go through the model, check each of the left and right banks, and where the modular ratio or the bank discharge coefficient is not defined, set it to a default value of 0.9 and 1.0. So let's just run that query. And with that done, the red error boxes have been removed and our model is now complete. The project is finished. All we need to do now is just to reload our uh, LiDAR data, which we can just do by dragging in and across, and perhaps zooming in onto a center section of the model to see the river in more detail. So in this tutorial, we've used InfoWorks ICM to create a single river reach by bringing in the center line of the river and incorporating some bank survey data and some cross-section survey lines to form the reach within the InfoWorks model.